All right, it's the morning of the pour right now. We got everything all set up. Dave right now is just kind of making a, uh, if in case we have more, this should be 9.62 yards, but there's high and low spots. So it could either be more or it could be less. But if it is more, we're making like a driveway setup. So we're not gonna put any of this stuff out here right now. We're just getting it ready to go so that if the guy has more, we'll just slap it in real quick and just fill it up and then he can pull on out and go on his way and then we'll finish it. Dave, you excited about the garage? I need it right now. <laughs> I have one month to finish my truck before we go on our road trip. Oh my god. So no, it, it should be done pretty quick. If we get to work and crack it. Metal comes today. We gotta go pick that up. Poles come today as well, around like six. And then all we need to do is get the lumber and then we can at least get something like a roof over your head, which is better than what you got at your house right now. So I need a welder and all types of shit. Yeah, I'll get a generator. Not so, a very, uh, not a very heavy crew today. No. Shit. That's fine. <laughs> we don't need a heavy crew. I didn't want to say that you ever tried to make that corner. I'm just joking. Is he going for it? Yeah. Why can't he make it? Because there's that tree, and someone would freak out about it. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. You rolled up, he's like, yo, where the hell am I at right now? Hey, we're in a world, baby. <laughs> it's a very, very interesting location. We got no James, so I'm gonna have to set you guys up on a tripod for a little bit, cause, all right, a little tripod action at the beginning of this. Oh boy, is so mesmerized by this place. He's like, wait, hold on, you got jumps over there, ramps over here. And it's like, yeah, dude. Ain't messing around out here. Ain't nobody, I swear to God, we're trying to make something special out here. So, since we don't have Jabe here yet, I'm gonna try something new. I've never filmed with the POV, but it'd be kind of cool, POV in action on us on the concrete. Yeah! There you go. Yeah, man. Grab that. Where's your boots at? I don't need them. I'm, I'm, I, I go raw. <laughs> I'm, gonna go, right, I'm gonna throw some water on this shit, man. Wet it up for you. A lot more, so we can get farther back. You think I'm gonna make you pull up my hair? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you like his Air Force boots? Yeah, I do. I do. Air Force One boots. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll work though. Better to put more than less, huh? Gosh. So we learn over time, it's better to put more than less. Yeah, you yeah. can't that way, that way you're gonna, you're gonna screen it back this way, yeah. Screen it all back this way anyway. You like our street board? <laughs> yeah. That's a nice street board, huh? Bad mother <laughs> I'm gonna pull that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one over there. Oh, you guys gonna That's snap. Guy Ready? There you go. I feel like no matter how big it is, you know, well, how many... No, I have. No, for the while they were building it. Oh this. man, Dave. Hey. Concrete guy though. Badass. Yeah, He's making it pretty watery. He knows a better plan than us though, to be completely honest. We don't have a lot of people, so there you go. We got Jabe. Hey, go get the broom, dude. There's some shit that needs to be swept. Good. Start sweeping the concrete, you'll blow the dude's mind. Listen, if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. So we're going, we don't have anywhere to hang out on this entire property to like just like chill underneath. We're gonna get it roofed, sided eventually. We already got a couch. This is way bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, pretty I massive. I thought it was gonna be way smaller. It's crazy, right? If we have to. Dax, what do you think? Looking good? Yeah, we're gonna have like a yeah cool.
guess. Up and down, down, up and down. Try to sustain it. We kill them, and then we take their boards and we use it for something useful. Uh, listen. Okay, we tie this way. Down to look good. Yeah. And that way, right? Skateboards work awesome. Yeah, I was just saying like, I was saying like, like do all the way across to this. Yeah. So, Cause this is kind of low over here. We're gonna need more over there. That's right. I don't know, that's just my idea. Huh? I've been riding tenfold 25 years and I have never done, done an ice pick. He's never dropped in. Hey. 25 years and Dave's never even dropped in. I've never dropped in. I've never done an ice He's pick. always started in the flat bottom. As long as I've known Dave, I've always been like, Dave, you need help getting out, buddy? You need help getting out? I'm like, you were riding you 25 think? years? Yeah. You've been riding yeah, more years than out. I've been alive. Yeah, no shit. That's crazy. Well, this came out damn near perfect. Holy crap. I hope it rides as good as it looks. I guarantee you, Dax will put a nice old paw print in it right before it's all done. But let's go look at the pad, finished product. Let's see what we got going on. Dax, are you ready? Look at freaking that. We got the driveway in. We had enough for that. And then we had enough for the 24 by 30 foot pad well it's 25 by 30 but it ended up being 24 but look at that there's a couple rough spots but nothing too crazy and again it is going to be a garage any of that stuff we can fill in this spot was kind of hard because you don't want to like go over it because we got to get that form out eventually so we kind of left it rough and then we'll go back but this driveway part came out insanely good like next level good that's because we Floated it while it was wet. Yeah. <laughs> we waited too long. We waited too long for this one for sure. Uh, we didn't have a float. So. Yeah, we had some float issues. But yeah, man, it came out super good. So me and Dave right now are gonna go uh, get Dave some pizza real quick first. We gotta return the float to my neighbor's house, and then after that, we're gonna try to go get some metal. Hopefully, then in the next like week or so, we can maybe get something that you could drive under. So Dave can start working on his truck. So it's gonna start out kind of like a pole barn. It's just like a roof, no sides. And then eventually we're gonna like slowly put the sides on. We're gonna kind of try to scrap the sides together because this is already costing a bunch. And then if you did the sides too, it'd be like pretty insane. And I have to focus on trying to get a generator first so we can actually work on what we need to work on in here. And generators that you're able to weld off of are no joke. So I'm trying to find one that's like decently priced and not gonna like kill my bank account. That's but still gonna do a good job. So I'm looking around. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But I, I've never done that before, so. All right, just picked up 18 sheets of freaking metal. So we gotta keep adding this stuff up to the cost list right now. This was 806.67. That's pretty good. One thing I've learned so far from having this property is you gotta call around and try literally every single place you can get your like. Just, you gotta call around and try every place. I know it's annoying, I know it's a pain in the ass, but you just gotta call around because someone might have a better price and it could be the difference between a few hundred dollars. The other place was a thousand bucks, this place was eight, 806. So I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but in the end of the things, it really is when you're trying to literally work it all at all on a budget. Dave is about to whoop this strap's ass. Why is it not functioning? Load up, get on out. Oh. 